Mind flayers are mean, and did you know that they could create rats? Now, if you have musophobia, turn back now. Game Master's here, and today we're going to chat about cranium rats found in Morden Canaan Presents Monsters of the Multiverse. Cranium rats, what's that? These guys are created when a mind flayer focuses psionic energy on a mass of, well, rats. This makes those furry little rodents smarter and forces part of their brain to kind of extrude out from their skull. And when they congregate into a group, uh, a swarm, their minds become uh, kind of like the Borg Collective. One, uh, a single intelligence with, and I quote, the accumulated memories of all the swarm's constituents. As long as the swarm stays together, they all are bolstered and are more intelligent, even awakening latent psionic abilities, allowing the rat swarm to use psionic powers. Uh, we're talking stuff like telepathy that can be used to communicate directly back to the Mind Flayer colony. Uh, in essence, these guys are used as spies. Individually, a cranium rat has a strength of two, uh, it is a rat after all. A dexterity of 14, constitution is 10, intelligence is 4, wisdom is 11, and charisma is 8. It has a challenge rating of 0. Yep, 0. And their use of telepathy extends out to 30 feet. It has an ability called telepathic shroud. Uh, this means that the cranium rat is immune to effects that would sense its emotions or read its thoughts, uh, as well as having immunity to all divination spells. I think the exception to that immunity is probably the mind flayers uh, or the mind flayer colony's ability to hear and see uh, what telepathy the rat is doing via telepathy, what the rat is doing and seeing. It can bite, and as a bonus action, it has illumination. Uh, it can shed dim light from its exposed brain in a five-foot radius, or it can just extinguish it altogether. Now, once these guys group up into a swarm of cranium rats, they buff up a little. Their strength overall increases to nine. Their dexterity stays the same, as does their constitution at a ten. Their intelligence jumps up to 14, their wisdom stays the same at 11, but their charisma also jumps up to a 14. The challenge rating moves from 0 to 5. The swarm becomes resistant to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing. They have a conditional immunity uh, from being charmed, frightened, grappled, paralyzed, petrified, knocked prone, restrained, and stunned. The rat swarm has dark vision and telepathy that extends out to 30 feet, and they have two abilities. Swarm, uh, they can occupy the same space as another creature and can move through openings that even a tiny rat could move through, although I'm pretty sure they can't move through that little space all at one time. And like the individual cranial rat, uh, the swarm also has telepathic shroud. For actions, the swarm can bite and it's amplified uh, due to, well, the <laughs> many tiny little rat mouths. Uh, the swarm also has spell casting and does not require spell components to cast the following. Command, comprehend languages, detect thoughts, confusion, and dominate monster. It is that dominate monster that really makes me fear this rat swarm. And I think that that's mainly because, well, Upon seeing a massive swarm of rats moving towards you, I, who, who, who wouldn't be charmed? Although, I think in this case, I'd use the term paralyzed with fear. Well, Indiana Jones wouldn't care. Similar to the individual cranial rat, the swarm can illuminate with its exposed brain, but instead of 5 feet radius, it is a 20 feet radius. And of course, they can extinguish that light as well. These guys don't seem all that powerful individually, but as a swarm, they do appear to be a decent threat. However, it's not that the swarm itself is particularly nasty. Rather, it's the fact that what they see and hear is reported back to a Mind Flayer colony, or even back to the Elder Brain that controls that Mind Flayer colony. Now, what has failed to be mentioned here is how far away that communication thread is. I mean, yes, their telepathy specifically states that Swarm has a range of 30 feet, but what we are given is in this last little line in the description that their thoughts can be transmitted when they are within range of the Elder Brain's telepathy, uh, which if I recall is something like five miles. Speaking of furry animals, would you ever consider playing as a rabbit folk in your Dungeons & Dragons campaign? We did a video talking about the Herringen here, 
And I gotta admit, it looks like it would be fun to play, so be sure to check that video out. But as far as the rats go, I gotta ask, do you think the Mind Flayers named the rats Spin 1, Spin 2, Spin 3? Until next our paths cross, may you have the fortitude to stand up to a swarm of rodents without freezing in fear.